everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Costco day. I am so excited. We are finally going back to Costco. I haven't been there in a couple of months. I went to Sam's Club last month for September and now we're going to try Costco again for the months, probably up until Thanksgiving. So the months of October and November. So I just, we just got back from the beach yesterday, yesterday evening, and I spent all morning cleaning out my pantry, and then I went to Food Lion and did my weekly grocery haul, and now we're gonna go to Costco and get all the stuff that we need there for the next couple of months. Um, so after this video on probably Wednesday, you guys will see a video where I show you I, like my whole storage situation right now, what we have going on, where we put all the Costco stuff, my monthly food plan or my monthly meal plan. I'm hoping to attempt to do a monthly meal plan this time. So I will show you all of that as well. But before we go to Costco, I'm gonna show you what we're starting with in our pantry um, and kind of show you like what I know for sure we're needing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this is what our pantry is looking like now after I cleaned it out. Um, we'll definitely need some more crackers for Chris. This whole basket is pretty much just um, these fruit snacks and then a few random things of chips. Um, that's all the coffee we have. We don't have any more up there, so we will definitely need some more coffee. Um, we're pretty good on like snack bars and stuff like that, but that's the rest of our goldfish. We'll need more of those. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you what we're working with or what we're starting with, um, on that side. And then this side, dog food, Max, Piper, and then you guys know, baking, other stuff. <laughs> and then, um, you know, Gatorade, we were actually ordered that from samsclub.com because the kids have been loving um, the powdered Gatorade or whatever. Um, we do still have several of these pastas and stuff like that, but yeah, this is what we're starting with. So let's go ahead and get going to Costco. Right when I walk in, I see these pan soaps. These are glass bottles. They're really pretty. They're only ten dollars. Might grab these. Have some of these color changing cups that the kids really like with the lids. Twelve tumblers, twelve straws, and twelve lids. They're only eleven ninety nine. So that's a good deal on that. Yeah. Ceramic flat iron for fifty four ninety nine, as well as the. Feather Light Hair Dryer for $79.99. Snow sleds, <laughs> it's that time. Okay, who remembers the, um, the sweater that I got Kylie that I loved so much? So this one's only, Kyle, will you hold that up for me? $11.99. It doesn't look long. It looks more like it's a crop. But they also have a hoodie for $14.99 in a purple leopard print. And that's only $14.99. The front always gets me. So far I have cups, hand soap, and a sweater. <laughs> okay. Look at these Mickey ornament set. This one doesn't have a price on it. It might be that one that's $39. Over there, they have a nativity set, a Kirkland brand nativity set for $94.99. Oh, look at that. Some really nice rugs out for, those look like they're $20. And these are the different designs. So the truck says it's out of stock. They have a snowman, a joy, three for $45.99. Again, I could probably make that yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kylie found some plushies. It was only $10. There's a little Squishmallow Pluffs. That would be a nice Christmas present. I love coming here this time of year and looking at all the Christmas stuff and the toys, which is the next out. Oh my gosh. Look at this, Kylie. Yeah. So this is a custom jewelry case with over, create 100 plus accessories. This is only $20. So it's in like a little, what are these cases called? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, maybe, that, maybe that'll be a, a Christmas present, right? 
I should have left the kids at home today so that I could get some of the stuff that I want to get them. Let's see, Play-Doh. Spider-Man trucks, those are $17.99. Oh, look at these. This Harry Potter set. So this is a full five-piece set. So it has Dumbledore, Hermione, Harry Potter, Ron, and I can't say that name, Minerva for $48. Slimy Good Sand for $16.99. Oh, you used to like these, remember? So this is a hundred piece wooden doll playset for $20. Kyle used to love those when she was little. I wonder if Finley would like something like that. Star Wars puzzle. <gasps> this is an American Girl doll. Sparkling ballerina. She's pretty. Yeah, that's $129. This Disney princess set. Lots of cool things. Oh, look at all these different American dolls. We have Willa, Camille, Ashlyn, Kendall. They're all for $129, which is a pretty good deal when you get the whole set of stuff with it as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Those are $89. So the, these ones are $89. The big one down there is $129. It's a pretty good deal. Try there, we guess. Well, so far, all we've done is produce. We got raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, all of the produce. Now we're gonna move on to meat because it is crazy in here. I guess I shouldn't have come here on a Sunday afternoon. So we're gonna film as much as we can in here. Yeah, Mickey. Did you get a cookie? Yeah. Cookie? Is it yummy? Oh, I've never seen this Polish sausage. I wonder if that's any good. Did you get a cookie sample? A chocolate chip cookie? What's that one? That's not for cookies. It's popcorn, I think. Yep, so it has caramel corn, vanilla bean, cinnamon, snickerdoodle, zebra, kettle corn, and hot cocoa popcorn. Huh. In this little Santa sack. That's $19.99. That's pretty cool. Oh, they have a Kirkland European cookies box. We don't need that, but it's $12.99. Okay. Okay, let's go this way. Can you get them? Good job. Filling our cart up. Okay. Let's see what else we can find here. Finley, we shopping? No? Yes, we are. Say no, no. Where do you see Mickey? Oh, that is Mickey. This is our super full buggy. We're almost done. And then we'll take it all home and haul it for you guys, right? Like I said, this place is packed like crazy. You can barely move in here. <laughs> Kylie's pulling my thing. Yes, that's Mickey. <laughs> okay guys, we are back from Costco. I have stuff everywhere. This whole row behind me and all of the island is covered as well. Um, this is a pretty big haul. I spent $650 this time. And I'm gonna show you guys everything we got, but first I just wanna say um, that I'm aware how, how blessed I am that I'm able to go and do a big haul in a big shop like this. Um, there's been some comments made about excessive spending or whatever, and I just, I don't know. I am aware of how blessed I am, and I'm trying my best to feed my family in the best way that I know how. So that's what I'm gonna say about that. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna turn around. I have, I tried to organize it as best as I could to make it go a little bit faster um, by like dry food, cold food, non-food produce. So hopefully that works. Let's get started because there's a lot to go through. We're just gonna go ahead and start over here. Um, these are the only like snack items that I bought this time because I'm trying to like clean out our pantry a little bit. So. Chris and Bryson both like these Himalayan kettle cut um, or crinkle cut kettle brand potato chips. So I grabbed them a bag of those. Those are $4.99. And then as always, I got the organic restaurant style tortilla chips that we love. They are $4.99 as well. Kylie has been asking me for animal crackers like crazy lately, guys. So I gave in this time and got um, these organic Kirkland brand one, it's a four pound tub and these were $8 and 49 cents. 
We got a huge box of our Pacific Bold Coffee. I've talked about this so many times before. Um, you really just can't beat the price or the taste on this coffee. There are two huge bags of candy. They're the exact same. I think they're 175 pieces each. So the kids' um, school, every year they do what they call a boo-through. So you essentially just drive through and get like treats and see your teachers all dressed up. And it's just a fun thing they do at their school. Um, and each of their classes usually will make up, like each teacher will make up bags and stuff. So I always try to contribute. So I got one bag for each kid. So they will take those into school tomorrow and give them to their teachers to, you know, help with so offset the cost that I know those teachers are going through. I got these Z bars. I've been eyeing these for, oh, I'm sorry. And those were $14.99 per bag. I have been eyeing these for a while. And I think um, Kim from Kim Southern Home told me about how amazing they are. Um, or like mentioned it in one of her videos that she likes them, not necessarily her kids. So I thought I would give them a go for the kids and myself. And if the kids don't like them, then I will eat them for breakfast because they're actually calorie wise. They're only 140, 150 and 130. So they're really not bad at all. And they don't have nuts in them. So you get 12 chocolate chip, 12 iced oatmeal cookie and 12 chocolate brownie for this was like 16.99. Chris absolutely loves these reds breakfast burritos, the meat lovers ones. Um, and I like that they, you know, have no antibiotics, no cage, and they're made with cage free eggs and all of that stuff. So I went ahead and picked up two boxes of these. These are $12.99 a piece for 10 of them. And I picked up two because I've mentioned this about Costco before, but you can go there and they have something one time and then you go the next three times and they don't have it. So knowing how much he likes these, I went ahead and grabbed two boxes. I got a bag, uh, or I'm sorry, a thing of Little Bites. You get 20 pouches for $8.99. Isn't it sad that I just like know all of these prices? Um, but anyway, Ritz crackers. You guys know I always get these for Chris. These are more expensive at Costco than they are at Sam's. These were $10.99 at um, Costco, and they're like $7.99 or something like that at Sam's. So that's a little unfortunate, but I did go ahead and pick them up. I got a 35 can pack of Dr. Pepper for Chris. These were $11.99. And then you guys know we are chocolate muffin fans here, or the kids and Chris are. I don't usually eat them, but the kids and Chris do. Um, and you get two packs of these for $7.99. So grab two packs and we will freeze them as always. Here comes Max. Hi, Maxie. <laughs> um, they just let him in. Um, I went with some of these baguettes this time instead of the rosemary parmesan bread because I still have one of those frozen. So these were $4.99 for these two French baguettes. Kylie um, asked for these Velveeta shells and cheese. There's eight boxes in here and they were a little bit expensive. I think they were $14.99 and I'm not sure how that compares to Velveeta shells and cheese boxes like from the grocery store because I've never bought them there before. Um, like in the big box. So I don't know, but I figured I could throw a box of these um, on the stove or on the oven on nights when Kylie and Finley don't like what we're having or if it's something too spicy or whatever, it'll just be an easy alternative for them. And then the last thing over here um, is some of this organic lemonade. Um, this two pack is, I believe, $6.99. All that bread back there was actually from my food line grocery haul that you guys will see tomorrow. And this is my turkey chili that we're having for dinner that I'm so excited about. So moving over here on this side, we have meats and cold stuff and all of that. So um, the first thing here, these are some New York strip steaks. You guys know that I love these from Costco and I splurge on them when we go. Um, these were, it's 5.14 pounds and they were $59 and eight cents or nine cents, six cents. Um, so we actually usually will, these are pretty thick steaks. I don't know if you can tell or not. So we actually usually will like butterfly one or like, like split it in two. And it be, makes, it makes a total of eight steaks that way. Um, and then usually that gets us four meals. So for $60, four steak dinners really is not a bad price. Okay. So the last time I went to Costco, I was telling you guys how I've been disappointed in their chicken breast, like the fresh chicken breast. It's just been like slimy and just not great the last few times. So somebody recommended that I try the frozen Kirkland 
signature boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I grabbed two bags. So this was $20 for six and a half pounds of chicken. What I really like is that they're individually wrapped in there. You can see, well, it says right there, they're individually wrapped. Um, that's always been my problem with frozen chicken is that I didn't like that it was just all in there in a bag and frozen and I don't know, just something about that didn't sit right with me. So I like that these are individually wrapped. So we'll see. I bought two of them. They were $19.99 each. I grabbed a thing of um, sharp cheddar cheese. This was $9.99 for two. So I like the Kevin's Paleo, the cilantro lime chicken, but they haven't, I think they discontinued that one. So I went with the roasted garlic chicken just to give it a go. This was $11.99 for two pounds. Um, and that should be, I don't know, it might be one or two meals depending on what we serve it with for us. My chicken's falling. I've never bought this oven brown turkey breast before, but I thought it would be good to slice. Um, so I'll probably pre-slice it and then have it for sandwiches and stuff. It's gotta be cheaper than buying, I wonder if this has a price on it. Yeah, so this was $15.48 um, for almost four pounds. So that's way cheaper than buying lunch meat every week at the grocery store. This is also the first time I've ever bought this. So this is the hand-pulled rotisserie chicken breast meat. This is two pounds, 10 ounces of meat. So my thought is that we will half this and use it in different meals. So I think I'll use it in that ranch chicken casserole um, and then probably in another meal as well. So I just thought that was easy and convenient to be honest. So I went with it. You guys saw us buy these chicken breast burrito bowls. Um, probably two times ago at Costco. These are $12.99. You get three different burrito bowls in them, and these are delicious. If you guys have a Costco, try these out. They are keep well in the refrigerator for a good amount of time. Um, so best by 11, 12. So you have like a whole month to eat this. So definitely give those a go. I wanted to see if I knew how much. I'm pretty sure this was $14.99 for two pounds of chicken, which sounds terrible, but I paid for it. It might've been $12.99. It was one of those two. And then I got a huge thing of 88% lean ground beef. This is 6.11 pounds and I spent $23.77 on it. So obviously we will divvy this up. And then this stuff is the final stuff. So down on the floor down there, I have the Kirkland brand diapers that you guys know I'm obsessed with. And then I've never tried this brand of toilet paper before. It's the Bouquet Ultra Premium Bath Tissue. Um, it's 18 jumbo rolls and it was like $17.99 or something like that. That was the only toilet paper they had and I really needed toilet paper. So I went with it. We will see. I grabbed a thing of gain. We were running low on that. And the last time I didn't buy it when we were running low, I regretted it. So I went ahead and bought it. I grabbed some freezer bags to help with, you know, putting all of this away. We needed those. These... I'm pretty excited about. So these are the Superfoods Turkey Jerky with Chicken Dog Treats. These were a little bit expensive. They were um, like $14.99. Well, I guess that's not terrible for this two pound bag of turkey. It does tell me like based on the dog's weight, how much they can have. So it looks like Max could have three a day. He weighs 75 pounds. And then Piper is, I don't know, between the extra small and small. Not exactly sure how much she weighs but she can have a half to one a day. So I do like that it has that on there. So I'm hoping they like those. I showed you guys these in the store. So you get these beautiful holiday greetings collection hand soaps. Look how gorgeous those are. Oh my gosh. And there's different scents. So there's winterberry, candy, candy cane, pine forest, and fruity hollyberry. Sorry. Um, I'm obsessed with just the look of these. I will probably rinse them out after they're done and use them like, year after year because I think they're glass. They're definitely very heavy. So if you have a Costco, run and get these. They were only $9.99 for the set of four and they're pretty big um, containers. So grab those. We needed some dishwashing detergent packs. These were 14, no, I'm sorry. These were $11.99. And then there's a couple more things that aren't produce and then I'll show you the produce. We got some paper plates. These were $16.99. We needed those very, very badly. I showed you guys this sweatshirt when I was in the store. I bought it in extra large so it would be oversized, but it's this like leopard, purple leopard print hoodie, and this was $14.99. And then the final thing that is not 
um, like produce, well, there's Finley's milk right here, but produce are these cup and straw tumbler sets. So my kids drink out of these, the older two kids and Maximilian over there likes to eat them if they leave them out. So, um, we needed some more. So I went ahead and grabbed this pack of 12 and this was only $12.99. So pretty happy with that purchase. So yes, we did get Finley her A2 milk. This is $12.99 at, no, I'm sorry, $9.99 at Costco for three of them, which makes it a little bit cheaper than the grocery store for the A2 brand milk. Okay, and then the last thing we have is produce. So I grabbed some Honeycrisp apples or like a, what are they called, a flat of Honeycrisp apples. Um, it looks like there's two, four, six, eight, ten. 11 to 12 apples in there and those were 9.99 no I'm sorry 8.99 I grabbed a thing of blueberries you guys know we always buy this brand they were 6.99 I grabbed some of the earthbound organic farm spring mix again I literally buy this every single time you guys know that this is 4.99 we've never bought raspberries at Costco before but Kylie said that she wanted them so I decided to give those a go they were 6.99 and then the strawberries were $5.79. And the final thing that we got are these snipped green beans. We're gonna have this one night this week as a side. I just thought they looked so good and like perfectly picked and I don't know, just thought they looked really fresh. So I grabbed those and that is everything that I got. <laughs> everything that I got for Costco from Costco I'm hoping that this lasts me until like the week before Thanksgiving and then I'll go get like holiday stuff um I'm not going back <laughs> I refuse that was a lot to do um and again I spent $650 so I should be good for a while on I'm happy with the amount of meat that I got I think that's really going to be helpful in keeping me from going back so stay tuned for Wednesday's video because I'm going to show you what the heck I do with all this stuff and where the heck I put it and how I organize it all and all of that stuff. And I'm also going to show you my monthly meal plan or a running list of all the meals that we have available on hand right now. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that video on Wednesday. And until then guys, I hope you have a fantastic evening. Bye.